Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Canadian Shield, your trusted source for analysis. My name is Sterling. I'm your host. Philip Champagne, the Minister for Industry, was appeared before this um, industry committee, and there was a lot of friction. He was asked direct questions, and he tried to weave and bob and go all over the place. And then, in an effort to try and cover up what appears to be more mishandling of Canadian tax dollars and more corruption... The liberals, all the liberals in the room ganged up on the one minister. Like I say, uh, Perkins was trying to get to the bottom of what appears to be a very bad loan at the best or worse, some more liberal corruption in the form of giving money to insiders and, you know, friends of friends and things of like that. So I'll, I'll show you, there was a lot of friction, and I will show you some of it. There was a, more friction from the round, the five-minute round, but I wanted to pull out some of the, the six-minute round stuff and show you just how badly the, the minister for industry was just, he just refused to answer a direct question. And then when the conservative MP called him on it, he would whine to the chair, who is in no way, shape, or form impartial. Anyway, let's listen to a couple of it, and I'll, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it'll be a lot easier today. I know how enthusiastic you are, but if you can actually try and answer our questions, it would be more helpful for everyone, including the translators. Telsat, which you know is a company that is majority owned by U.S. investors, that your liberal government has spent over $5 billion on since 2019 to try and connect rural and remote Canadians to the Internet with lower or satellites. Only one small problem. It doesn't have a satellite network that connects anyone to the Internet. And in 2021, six months after you became minister, you gave $1.4 billion of taxpayer money to Telesat, a large portion of which was a loan, a very big loan. How much of that loan has been paid back? Just the number, please. Uh, Mr. Chow, very proud of the work of Telesat and the workers at Telesat, I must say. Uh, Telesat is a Canadian company. Uh, we're proud of what they're doing. And, and I can assure you uh, that the investments, because I would say, uh, Mr. Perkins, just to be clear, uh, we're making money out of these loans. We have so a return on the investments that, that, we have, minister, that we have invested minister, I have limited in, time. In, With in, respect, Minister, I, Chair, I, I just asked you want me to answer or not? I don't well, know. you haven't answered. I asked one simple question, not an explanation of what Telus, Teleset does. I asked a question. That question is quite simple. Simple answer. How much of the $1.4 billion in investment and loan, which was the loan was almost $800 million part of it, has been paid back since 2021? Mr. Chair, let's be clear. It's Just your the privilege, number or Mr. The percentage. You it's can your privilege, do Mr. Perkin, to ask the question. It's my privilege to answer. I would like you so, to. So my answer to you is say, I am proud of what Telesad is doing. I did not for our national. That. Minister, so if you're going to interrupt me every time I'm trying to answer respect, your question, Minister, it's not going to go well today for you. Mr. Chair. Yes, um, Mr. Perkins. Uh, Minister, please try to be succinct in your answers to uh, and to the point, Mr. Perkins. Try to be succinct. Try to come even in the same room as an answer to the question you were asked. What I dislike about Champagne is he honestly believes that we are all so dense, we don't see that he's not answering the question. He goes, oh, people at home, Canadians at home. We, are, we all see you avoiding the question, bud. Like you're not so, you know, just because you're an MP doesn't mean that you're smarter than the rest of us. Now, they have a name for a person like uh, MP Champagne, or the way that he behaves, the way that he talks. And it, you know, it's called BS artist. There, that guy there practices slinging it in the mirror in the morning. Like th there's nothing that ever comes out of that guy's mouth that is anything other than some sort of, 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 a, of an attempt to make you not look at the truth. In this case, the fact that they loan billions of dollars to a satellite company that has yet to produce a single solid, solitary satellite or even get one up in the air. Now, then that MP Lightbound, who, you know, is clearly a bi not bipartisan, is like so totally on the liberal side, right? I mean, he can't even he can't even set aside his politics just to maintain decorum. He simply just decides to lash out at Mr. Perkins. 
So then they go to, you know, MP Perkins is not flustered and he goes to the next question that he has for him. I will come to the, your latest announcement. I asked about the 1.4 billion. So the answer obviously is zero has been paid back. We're actually making money. We're so, making money so because we borrow at the lower rate so and we lend the money and therefore Canadians will be making money while that. protecting national billion, security and ensuring that there would be coverage minister? in the North and the Arctic. We're making money. That's why I think Canadians pay. There's a lot of people watching at you're, home. You're not making the, money if well, you're if you forgiving allow me to the interest. Mr. Perkins, you're please You're making a statement. I'm telling you facts. That's the difference between you and I. I read the loan agreement. I don't know if you did. It's for The loan agreement has interest released for the first five years. There is no interest. Being paid. And I you can't make money. I'm okay. making money. You can't make money if you're not hello, collecting the hello, interest. Hello, Mr. Perkins. Please, uh, we we can't have just for the interpreters. It, it it doesn't work if I have the both of you speaking at the same time. So, Mr. Perkins, I'll let you go with your question. Then, please let the minister answer. I borrow at two. I lend at ten. You don't need to but take you're it not from me. It. Well, sir, do you want me to answer? If you want to make statements, oh, I'm happy to answer. Me. Mr. Mr. Perkins, Mr. Perkins, please let the minister answer, and then that'll be uh, all the time you had for your questions. So, Mr. 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 Champagne, uh, Minister, you uh, you have about. Uh... So you see what I mean? He wouldn't refuse. He refused to answer the question, and then every time uh, MP Perkins pointed out the fact that he wasn't answering the question, he would look right at the guy, right? Now, here's a guy that sits, what, two, three rows back in the party, and he just does whatever he's told by the front benchers. You know, and I, I, just, I, I just think that it's a lot of garbage coming out. of. And what I want to point out to you, the viewer, is he must be hiding something, right? He must be hiding something because that guy there, if he has a single thing, he will stand up and grandstand and throw his arms around and talk with such grand, like he just... He's always with the flourish, that guy. And when he, he clearly has, is hiding something because he kept looking to run behind the chair, right? Even the guy banged the gavel. Banged the gavel. You know how many of these I watch? I might have seen, that might be the third time that I've ever seen somebody bang a gavel in one of these meetings. Now, it, it gets worse though, right? Because so that round there is the six minute round. And then the, the liberal guy gets the first question. And this guy is way in the back of the liberal bench. Like he's, he's touching the curtains back there. This uh, next fella. Uh, great. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Minister, for appearing before the, the committee. I apologize. Uh, usually at this committee, we let the, the witnesses answer the, the questions. I think it's a little bit early, so we haven't had our morning point coffee. Of order. Um, I wanted uh, to I'm talk sorry, about- sorry, Mr. Gahir, uh, there was a point of order by Mr. Sure. Um That liberal member doesn't speak for me, so he doesn't get to apologize for anything for me. That's not a point of order, that's a comment, but uh, I'll say I appreciate that you actually asked to speak and didn't interrupt while another member or a participant was speaking. Uh, so I'll take that as a positive. I'll take that, I'll take that as a positive. MP Gahir, you, uh, you have the floor. Now, MP Gahir, remember, guys, the word is honorable. And what that behavior that you just saw there was completely dishonorable. There would have been a time in history when both of those actions would have brought a duel. You cannot speak for another man. You do not have that right. And anything other than that, it was just a desire to try to get score points with the social media. And the chair should have said that. He shouldn't have ganged up on him with the other two. He should have said, you're absolutely right. That person will, you know, will never, we'll, we'll make sure that he doesn't say it again. And we'll go back to the meeting. You know, something to the effect of what a mature, honorable human being would do instead of some high school kid who thinks that he's ganging up on their other team because it's cool and it's clicky. I mean, these people get hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and they get to decide what's going on with our country and they act like 10-year-olds. They honestly believe that that kind of behavior, that passive aggressiveness, is not aggressive. Right? They honestly think to themselves, oh, no, this, is, this will get me clicks on, and likes on social media. I'll get complete strangers that will tell me that my behavior was acceptable. Ridiculous. Unacceptable. Now, I just got one more burn that uh, Philippe goes through because he's, you know, he's not too uh, swift by this point. Now he's right upset that, the, uh, that he's not getting his way and that nobody's impressed by Joel Lightbound. Nobody's listening to them at all. The conservatives are not going to be pushed around just because there's four of you. It doesn't matter. Anyway, 
This part here was a pretty good dig, though. Minister, uh, the CEO of Telsat, who is a close personal friend of the new Liberal Finance Minister, Mark Carney, uh, was given over 800,000 shares in Telsat in 2021. Are you aware of that? I don't understand your question. You refer to people who don't have the capacity that you refer to. You, you don't understand that the CEO was given 800,000 shares of his <laughs> own company? I do not understand okay. the comments you made before I'll, about the I'll finance move, minister. I'll move on then. See, he thinks he's being clever because he called Mark Carney the finance minister, but then he goes, I didn't hear, I didn't hear, understand the comments you, you made about the finance minister. What you should have said was, I didn't hear the comments you made about Mark Carney. So even in Philip's mind, right, even in MP Champagne's mind, Mark Carney is the finance minister. Now I get that you could take it both, you could take it two ways. But now this was round three. So by this time, like I say, like he, 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 had, he had to go through the five minute round and then they were into round three and they could see that the conservatives were nonplussed and they weren't going anywhere. The fact of the matter is, is that the Liberal government just gave this exact same, they lent them money, they gave them a grant in 2019, then they lent them billions of dollars in 2021. They haven't paid a single penny back. And then a couple of months back, they or a couple of weeks back, they just gave them another $2.1 billion loan that has no interest on it for five years. That they, they completely gave interest free for five years. They still have yet to produce a product. And I don't know where in their minds they think that they're just going to fire these satellites. I mean, they take rockets. Do we build rockets? Are we just going to give them to X to put up into space? I mean, I'm not sure how that happens. But that's, I suppose, a different video. And this one, I just wanted to show you the, 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 the level that the, lo the liberals will stoop to to hide more corruption. Because obviously, if they, had, if they weren't being dishonest, they would have come up with a straight answer. That's my opinion. Anyway, they, they would have had a straight answer. But because they had to weave and dodge and hide behind one another and try to get all passive aggressive and act like, you know, immature, they are clearly hiding something. That's my opinion. You can give me your opinion down in the comments. I'm going to wrap here. I want to thank you for listening. I will talk to you next time.